After six painfully long and excruciating years, the Vegas Golden Knights are finally Stanley Cup champions. Look, it's no secret that hockey fans aren't thrilled that Vegas is winning the cup. Between their salary cap shenanigans and half the fans thinking Gary Bettman and the refs are pulling the strings, Vegas isn't beloved at all. But if you watched Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals, you'll realize the truth about why this team has become the king of the NHL. In pretty much every game of this series, the Vegas Golden Knights have been the better team. They have forced Florida to make uncharacteristic mistakes, and they have grinded down the Panthers until they basically wilted away. With Florida missing their leader, Matthew Kachuk, due to a broken sternum, the only way Florida stood a chance in this game mentally was if they had something positive happen for them early. That almost came into fruition as an early Florida power play could have ignited this team, but a fantastic save by Aiden Hill just completely swung the momentum of this game the other way. Almost directly after that big save, an errant pass off a zone entry by Florida directly leads to a two-on-one chance for Mark Stone, and he just shows a disgusting amount of patience to outweigh Bobrovsky and make it a 1-0 game. Mentally, that's a killer for the Panthers. You're in the mayhem of the Vegas crowd, you're on the road, you get an unbelievable chance, and then you give up a shorthanded goal right after in a do-or-die game. This just cannot happen. Now, after this goal, the Panthers seemed visibly rattled as they gave up multiple two-on-ones that just would cause this game to snowball out of control. Now, of course, everyone will point to Vegas' second goal and say the whistle blew, this game's rigged, you know, the usual stuff. But this entire game and really this series was pure domination from the Golden Knights. Even after the Panthers got an early one at the start of the second to give them life, Vegas just completely took over the game. It just came at Florida wave after wave, and there was a good five or six minutes of the second period where Florida just couldn't get the puck out, and Vegas ran away with it, capitalizing on almost all of their chances. And this is what Stanley Cup teams do. They don't get too high or too low. They don't get rattled when things aren't exactly going their way because the momentum could have easily slipped back into Florida's hands with that early goal in the second. But Vegas didn't let that get to them at all and they essentially skated the Panthers into the ground. What's crazy is that the Panthers have been so stingy all playoffs long with their structure. They were one of the safer teams in the NHL playoffs in terms of making the right play to get the puck out or to get the puck in. But this series and this second period especially just seemed like the accumulation of Vegas' game completely breaking down the Panthers. For Florida, it was consistent odd man rushes against, multiple turnovers, and an eternity of time spent in the defensive zone. Vegas simply made the Panthers look like a team that had nothing left in the tank. Now, NHL fans are going to say what they want about the Vegas Golden Knights, but the truth about these playoffs and Stanley Cup Final is that the very best team won the Cup, flat out. I mean, this game was a total blowout, but really it was a testament to how the Vegas Golden Knights play their system and how they just keep coming at you no matter what the score is. If you go up and down this Vegas lineup, there's at least four guys that could have deserved the Conn Smythe. Eichel was dominant, Marchessault hit a completely new level in his game, and as a result, he actually won the Conn Smythe. But Mark Stone was brilliant on both sides of the puck, as always, and he captained this team to their first Stanley Cup. And then, of course, you have the calm and cool Aiden Hill, who came out of nowhere and stepped up when Brassois got hurt against Edmonton. Everywhere you looked on this team, there was someone stepping up and playing a huge role to help Vegas get to this point. It's also easy to forget about Bruce Cassidy, who was essentially fired in Boston by the players, and now a year later, he's coached this team to a Stanley Cup. Cassidy had the reputation of being pretty hard on his players in Boston and also in Vegas, but at the end of the day, he got them to fully buy into his system and the entire team just played like a well-oiled machine. The contributions up and down the lineup was the difference in these playoffs and it's really the story of every Stanley Cup winning team. Unsung heroes, depth scoring, clutch goaltending, and mental resiliency. This Vegas team at its identity were the misfits and outcasts. Players who essentially weren't good enough for their original organization were shipped off to Vegas, and now six years later, they're Stanley Cup champions. For Vegas, there wasn't one superstar that was bigger than the entire team, and nor could they be. To win a Stanley Cup, it takes absolutely everyone in that locker room to chip in and have a role. Vegas' superstars bought into a system, and now all of them are Stanley Cup champions. And hey, I get it. People might not be thrilled that Vegas are Cup champs. I mean, trust me, 
I'm a Leaf fan, but going forward, this will be the model of how you build cup teams. Teams will copy their systems, player types, and of course, how they handle the salary cap. You may not like it, but this is now the gold standard moving forward of how to build a cup team for the rest of the NHL. So what did you think about the Stanley Cup Finals? I gotta shout out the Florida Panthers. What a miraculous run they went on. In every series, they proved pretty much everyone wrong, but they just seemed mentally gassed and beat up by the time they arrived in the finals. After riding the emotional high of sweeping Carolina, I think that extended 10 day break just completely squashed any momentum they had going into the finals. This game was a blowout and the finals turned out to be a bit of a dud, but this was an unbelievable season. I started making content full time on this channel right before the season started in October. And honestly, I never thought it would grow to this point. All of you have showed up and watched and supported the channel. And it's by far made this the most enjoyable hockey season for me in a very long time. I can't thank you all enough for that. And I'm super excited for the future of this channel and some of the content ideas we're gonna bring in the summer. But drop a comment on what your favorite moment of the NHL playoffs was. And if you wanna see more NHL content, make sure you hit that subscribe button.